Welcome back to the channel called CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we are looking at how to draw and identify objects in AutoCAD. In the previous video, we looked at the topic third angle projection. In the previous video, we also were given a 3D object and we used the third angle projection to represent 2D views of the given pictorial drawings. We thank you for joining us. We hope that you are doing great and we aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online. In this video, we'll be looking at the use of layers. So having drawn the drawings, we'll be putting the different objects and lines which were drawn in parts one and two on different layers so that we can manipulate the drawing to suit our needs. So thanks for watching. We'll be starting the video. All right, good. So this is what the completed third angle projection would look like for the given drawing, right? All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put these components on different layers, okay? So look now, here now we have the default um, layer, which is layer zero. We are going to make our own layers and put the 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 lines on that layer i'm gonna turn it turn off the layers and show you in a little while while I, why i'm doing this so we go to the layer properties manager and we click on it this layer properties manager dialog box will appear now what i'm gonna do now if where you see this um, word name that's the name of the layer right here you can turn it on and on or off you can freeze it you can lock it you can indicate whether you want the layer to be printed or not here's a color here's a line type here's a line weight and here's a transparency all right now so above this s beside the name that this is um how you create a new layer in autocad right so it says, creates a new layer, and it will display the layer name, um, layer name one. So the next layer after that will be layer layer two. You can change it, right? And it also says the new layer inherits the properties of the currently selected layer in the layer list. So for example. If the layer is, if the color of the um, current layer is the last one in the list is blue, when you select the new layer command, give you a new layer, it's going to accept the line weight, the line type, and the line color, right? So if the line color was blue, as I said, this color will be blue. If you had a hidden detail line, this would be a hidden detail line. So we're going to change this layer to construction. We just type construction or construction layer, construction line, sorry. Um, we're going to let the, the, the color stay as white, right? And we're going to let the line be continuous. And the line weight, we're going to keep it at the default. So we press enter. We're going to make another one, another layer, and this will be called outline. Outline, right? And we're going to let we're going to let the color remain as white. The line type will be continuous. All right. The next one we're going to make is the text. We're going to have our text layer to have our text on it right the next thing we're gonna make is hidden detail line right so we're gonna have the hidden detail layer that would have the hidden detail line all right hidden detail enter right now we're gonna check Right, so this is it now. So we have a construction, we have the outline, we have the text, and we have the hidden. All right, so for, for our drawing today, 
we only need these layers, all right? So to close it, we can press this icon, right? We can, it's currently selected as layer zero, which was a default layer. We can change it um, and put the construction layers current. So we double check on it to get the green arrow and then we can close it, right? Because here it is the construction, remember zeros, the zero layer was selected first, here's the construction layer. What we're gonna do now, um, all of these lines, we're going to um, put them on the, the, the different layers. All right, so we're gonna change this to outline and I'm gonna select, um, all right, so we'll go again. We're gonna select this, the plan view, all right? We're going to select this, this, this line, 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 and this one, because all of them are the same outline. I can draw the lasso over it to select everything. All right, so I'm going to come up here now, select my outline. And all of these lines which were selected will be on the outline layer, okay? All right, we're going to center, we're going to center the, 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 the name. So we're going to go move this one, this one, enter, select a base point. All right, we need to turn off the object snap. All right, so we're going to turn off the object snap. So we're going to go move, veer, veer, enter. Click a base point. I'm going to move it here. All right, good. What am The cursor will snap into the, the pre-selected point which the AutoCAD picked up, so I turned it off, right? So the object snap allows the cursor to snap on to different um, parts on the drawing. So let me show you. So here it could snap to the midpoint, the center of a circle, the quadrant of a circle, the intersection. What I did, I turned it off so the cursor at this point would not pick up the nearest uh, maybe intersection or node, right? And node is a point on the screen. All right. So I'm going to move the, the word end elevation. So we select them, press enter to select them. We select a point and we just move across with across like this. All right. Uh, the end elevation, we need to move this one to the left. So we click here, press enter, and we come across here to center it so it looks a little bit better. All right. Um this end elevation needs to come over a little bit. So we we'll press enter, click. My author is on, so that is why it, main, it maintains its horizontal um, um, level, on the same level as the front elevation. I'm going to move this one, this end elevation. I'm going to move it a little bit to center it there. Right? I'm going to move this end elevation. Press enter to get the last command. Select my objects, press enter, and select my base point, and it'll be about there. All right, that, that looks a little bit better. The word plan needs to be centered. Enter. So there, enter. All right, so we're now finished. Right, we're going to put the text, the, the labels in the text that was written with the text command, and we're going to put it on the text layer. All right, now I'm going to lock the outline layer. So I'm going to lock it with this little padlock. Right, so when I lock it now, I cannot um, accidentally delete it. Let me show you. See the cursor is not picking up the line. And the padlock is appearing, right? The reason why I'm doing that, I'm also going to lock the, the text layer. All right? And I'm going to show you why I did that in a little while. Right, what we're going to do now, 
we just gonna select everything because we want uh, I need to I need to before I do it, I need to put this hidden detail line on the hidden detail line a layer sorry right and then now we're going to lock the hidden detail layer right so that we can select everything that is uh can, so we can select all of the lines which are which will be on the construction layer so look it's a little bit easier if i do it like this rather than clicking them one one so i click select all of this here right look now and then when i come up here and put them on the construction mm -hmm. layer see it says one or more selected objects on the lock layer and cannot be updated so we press close right so let me show you now so if you come up here now and turn off my construction layer see the only thing that we have left is the outline of the plan the front elevation and the end elevation you see that so the reason why i lock it if i didn't lock it then all of all of this these views these four views would be on the the construction layer and i didn't want that right so let me turn on back the construction layer see i'm going to turn off the text layer and show you what what i was actually doing see see the text is now removed right so i'm going to turn it on back right we're going to turn off the construction layer and this is what we need as a finished drawing right now we need to show the construction how we got it so we turn it on right so there it is all right now we can unlock it um if we need to make any corrections we need to unlock them all right right and there it is good now notice that when i locked it it was it wasn't the transparency change so let's look at it let's go to see now lock it see the transparency change so when i unlock it it no the transparency is no um 100 percent all right this brings us to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at third angle projection. And in the next video, we'll be looking at building drawing. Okay? So we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And please take care until we meet again. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.